If you're only using keyword targeting in your Google Ads search campaigns, then you are missing out on three very important targeting options. Yes, your mass is right. There are actually four different targeting options that you have in Google Ads search campaigns. And these are keyword targeting, audience targeting, demographic targeting, and location targeting. My name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And in this video, we're gonna go through the four different targeting options that you can use in your Google Ads search campaigns. As an overview, here are the four main options that you have for targeting. So with keywords, these are the search terms that you actually target. Audiences, these are the groups of people with specific interests, intents, and demographics that Google group together. Demographics, these are subgroups within Google broken down by age, gender, income and parental status. And then finally location, and this is the physical location where people live. And this can be targeted down by region, country, state, city, and even your post or zip code. As you may be aware, Google Ads search campaigns is built on keyword targeting in that you get to choose the specific keywords that you want your ads to appear for. So in order for someone to even see your ad, they need to actually enter in and complete a Google search for your targeted keyword, or it needs to be a search query that matches your targeted keyword. And this is where Google Ads has the biggest advantage over any other form of marketing. And that's because with Google Ads, you have already overcome the hardest issue, and that's finding people who are actually interested in your product. Google Ads is kind of like a reverse door-to-door -door sales thing going on because rather than you trying to door knock on your potential clients door with Google Ads you have clients knocking on your door but unfortunately this is where most people actually leave their targeting with Google Ads and it could be the reason for why you are not seeing the levels of success that you should be seeing in your Google Ads search campaigns and that's because with Google Ads we have those three further refinements that we can add so that we make sure that we're not only getting people knocking on our door but we're actively stopping people from finding our ads who don't actually meet our core criteria. And this is where targeting by audiences, demographics, and locations become so powerful. Because you as a marketer can actually stop certain people from seeing your ads if they do not match your core criteria. And why would you do that? It's simple so that you have more money and more ad spend budget to actually target those people who are part of your core target market. Meaning that you have more marketing budget to actually spend on people who are more likely to buy your products or to sign up for your services. So right now, let's go through some examples of how adding audiences, demographics, and location targeting to your campaigns can improve your performance. Audience targeting is where you can add specific targeting or extra bid optimizations to focus more of your Google Ads budget to target people who are a part of certain audiences within Google Ads. And these audiences in Google Ads cover four main themes. Affinity targeting, where it's looking at people who are part of banking and finance or food and dining or lifestyle and hobbies. People who are part of detailed demographics, where it looks into someone's education level, their employment or their home ownership status. In market audiences, and this looks at what people are currently in the market for and what they're currently searching for. So for example, with apparel or accessories or business and industry products or business service products. And then the fourth option is actually your very own data segments. And this is where we look at your remarketing lists or your previous website visitors. And you may ask, where does Google actually get this information? Great question. It's based off your search history and also any other web profiles that Google can get access to. And if you're really interested, you can really easily see what audiences Google has you a part of. All you need to do is to go to adsettings.google.com. Let me show you the audiences that I'm personally a part of. So Google knows that I'm male. It knows that I speak English. It knows that I'm between 35 and 44 years of age. I won't tell you the exact age, but I will tell you that Google is right. Let's look a little bit further. Adelaide, why has Google got me registered to Adelaide when I live in Brisbane? And the reason is, is because later this year, one of my daughters will actually be competing in a national sports event in Adelaide. So in the lead up and the preparation for us traveling down to there, I've been searching different hotels, car rentals, and just general location about Adelaide. And because of that reason, and because of those searches, Google has placed me within that audience of Adelaide. So hopefully now you can see the power of audiences. So for businesses like hotels or car rentals or cafes and restaurants that are based in Adelaide, I'm the perfect person that you should be advertising to right now. And the reason for that is because I have a high interest for those related services that are located in Adelaide. Whereas this time next year, I won't have the same level of interest because I have no plans to go to Adelaide next year. So the first way that you can further increase the performance of your campaign is to start adding targeting by audiences to your Google Ads search campaigns so that you can specifically target people that have a current high interest right now for your products or your services. Hey, before we get into the next 
next two points of talking about demographics and location targeting, could you do me a huge favor and quickly like this video so we can spread the love across YouTube? And also, could you subscribe to my channel? This makes sure that I can continue to keep giving away these free teachings on Google Ads so how you can improve your business. Thank you so much. Let's keep going. When we talk about demographic targeting in Google Ads, we're talking about targeting people based off their age, their income, their gender, and also their parental status. And with demographic targeting in Google Ads, I actually find it more powerful to block people who aren't part of your target demographic. A perfect example of this is if you're marketing an e-commerce product that is specifically in the baby product space. Because if you're marketing products for babies, you wanna be specifically targeting parents. But even more specific than that, you wanna be targeting parents parents with children of certain ages. Yes, I'm a parent, but all of my kids are now teenagers, so I'm not interested in baby products like baby formula. However, if I had a new baby or an infant, I would be very interested in your baby formula products. So in that example, if I was marketing baby formula products, I'll be going into my demographics and filter my ads so that they're only appearing to parents of infants. So that is parents who have children who are under 12 months of age and parents of toddlers. And that's looking at parents who have kids between ages of one to three. But then if you had a kid's clothing brand that was targeting kids aged between five years old and 12 years old, you wouldn't be targeting those specific groups. You would go into Google and add specific targeting so that you're targeting parents of preschoolers and also targeting parents of grade schoolers. Because once again, you are then targeting the people who are gonna be specifically looking for your type of product. Now, if you're not in the e-commerce space and you're actually offering business to business products, this is also a powerful tool that you can use as well. Because within detailed demographics, you can actually target people based on their industry or based on their employment status or even based on the size of the company that they work for. So if you're marketing your HR or ERP software, you can specifically target larger businesses who have enough employees to actually warrant having your product. So in this way, you're filtering out family owned businesses or small businesses with only one or 10 employees who may not need your products. Once again, focusing more budget on the actual people who are more likely to buy your service. So with demographic targeting in Google ads, what the goal here is that we want to actually block people who don't match our core target markets, which is allowing for more of our marketing budget to actually be spent on the people who are more likely to buy our products or sign up for our services. Now, finally, location targeting. Location targeting is something that is really important for businesses who offer a service to a particular location only. For example, a lawn mowing or a plumbing service that is only available to people in your city. And in this case, you would only wanna show your ads to people who are regularly in your location or in your city, as opposed to some people who've just shown some interest in your location. And the reason for this is because you wanna be putting a priority on your service-based business to people who live in your local area and are more likely to want your services, as opposed to people who are just here for a short week stay or a quick holiday. So to make sure that you're generating the highest level of sales or inquiries for your Google Ads search campaigns, why don't you also start to add an audience, demographic and location targeting to your keyword targets. And to help you with this, I actually wanna give you a free gift, which is my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this checklist is a list of items which lets you know how often you need to check things like your keywords or your demographic targeting or your location targeting or even your audience targeting. And this is a process which is so important. It's actually a process that I still use today on all of my Google Ads campaigns. And if you wanna get your own Google Ads optimization checklist, checklist, just follow the link in the description below so that you can get yours today. As we said at the start of this video is that Google Ads search campaigns is built on keyword targeting. However, just recently, Google has actually changed its rules for keyword targeting. And this actually has some huge implications for your very own Google Ads account. So to help you with this, why don't you go through and watch this video right here, which takes you through the changes, but more importantly, what you need to update in your own Google Ads account. Once again, thank you for watching this teaching video and I look forward to seeing you next time.